Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Under the guidance of Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam. Let's start with the Sadguru Andanam. Nityanandam Paramasukanam Kevalam Jnanam Urtim Dvandvatitam Gaganasadusham Tattamasya Dilakshyam Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshibhutam Let's go through the disclaimers. Security measures. No photography, video, audio, recording. Important cautions. Please be aware of the important cautions. What is spa manifestation? Let's hear from Bhagwan himself explaining what is spa manifestation. All the 25 states of consciousness, when they happen in you due to your chemicals and hormones, ups and downs, it is powerlessness. When it happens in you out of your free will and consciousness, it is powerfulness, that's all. When you fall into sleep, it is powerlessness. When you enter into sleep, it is powerfulness. When you fall into dream, it is powerlessness. When you decide to dream, it is powerfulness. So I have added the ultimate powerfulness Turiyatita Turiyatita in your whole being and doing manifest all the powers. Understand, power manifestation is nothing but cognitive shift. It is not work. It is cognitive shift. Understand? It is just cognitive shift. It's not work. Work is a four-letter word. <laughs> Power manifestation is cognitive shift. Playing with life. Playing with being alive. Static matter, dynamic activity, 
strategic existence all this three has no boundary you are one with it you are alive in everything everything listens to you everything decides as you want power manifestation is cognitive shift raising your frequency not work now let's understand who is parameshiva bhagwan himself has beautifully explained the parameshiva in all of us parameshiva does manifestation maintenance rejuvenation pulling out of delusion and liberation he resides in his supreme parama shiva swarupa as ajomuha aradho muka anban beyond form formlessness his parama shiva swarupa that parama shiva swarupa manifests with this five faces as sada shiva tatpurusha vamadeva ahora satyojata ishana five faces he manifests and does the panchakritya srishti manifestation stiti sustenance samhara rejuvenation probhava pulling out of delusion anugraha liberation understand he does all these five job through these five faces now listen carefully tatpurusham vamadevam satyojatam ahoram ishanam this five faces das panchakrityas each face each dimension is not just one f a c e face p h a s e face it's not just f a c e p h a s c -E. understand the creation not just creation getting created even sustenance need to be created destruction need to be created and pulling out of delusion need to be created liberation need to be created then create creation manifestation need to be maintained maintenance sthiti itself need to be maintained destruction samhara the rejuvenation need to be sustained maintained when it is happening pulling out of delusion through bhava need to be maintained when it is happening and anugraha liberation need to be maintained when it is happening those micro milliseconds when it is happening so understand satyojata murti as five face ishana murti as five face vamadeva murti as five face agora murti as five face tatpurusha murti as five face so tatpurusha murti as is five face agora murti has is five face 
Vamadeva Murti has his five face. Satyojada Murti has his five face. Ishana Murti has his five face. All these five Murtis, five five faces put together is twenty-five faces of Mahasada Shiva. Bhagavan beautifully explained Parameshiva. Now, who is his divine holiness? Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam. Let's hear from Bhagavan himself. Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam, is a reviver of Kailasha, the ancient enlightenment civilization, the great cosmic borderless nation, is an avatar from and is a supreme pontiff of Hinduism. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam, has made science of our manifestation, yoga, temple based university. For humanity, so which in order of Kailasha, led by His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam and Nityananda Order of Monks, Nuns, Hindu Diasporas are working for global peace to give superconscious breakthrough to humanity. Nityananda Hindu University, world's largest with extended campus in 150 countries, is collecting, organizing, preserving, time capsuling, decoding, spreading, and reviving 20 million source books of Hinduism and 64 sacred arts, science like Ayurveda, music, dance, sculpting, astrology, Vastu and many more. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam is 293rd Guru Vaha Sannidhanam of Shamala Pita Sarvanya Pita, ancient apex body of Hinduism and present emperor of Surya Vamsa Surangi Swamrajyam. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam has survived the worst persecution of multiple assassination attempts on person and character by anti-Hindu elements. Beautifully Bhagavan now explains who is His Divine Holiness Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam. Everything is infinitely powerful. You realize your potentiality. You establish yourself in the completion, space of completion. You are God, that's all. All of us are gods. The first experience is that I was able to see everything around me, above me, the whole 360 degree. I realized not only I was able to see, I was able to feel experience the skin of the stone on rock on which I was sitting and the skin of this body both carry me equally in both I exist equally Sangha is a place where the tattvas are taught to you and till it becomes satya, you are supported. Akadas are basically founded by Sadashiva himself. All is ganas, Shiva ganas, exactly the word gana means. In your length, breadth, depth, if you are filled by Shiva, you are Shivagana. All the Shivaganas formed the first Akkada. Later on, much later, Kapilamuni organizes Mahanirvani Akkada. Then, all other Akkadas. Mahamandaleshwar of Mahanirvani Akada, the oldest apex body of Hinduism, I welcome every one of you. Original Agamas Yoga Pada, 
the signs very clearly declares sadashiva is very clear manifestation of this powers happen when you experience oneness with sadashiva when you choose your guru the best thing is find a person who is enlightened experience who can play with energy who can directly transmit experience to you and who is in tune with the original shastras the source of the knowledge all the revealed scriptures available about the yoga directly by sadashiva for you to do research study practice question the people who teach the science of our manifestation is a gift to the humanity which is authentic time tested scientific and full proof diksha or the initiation from his divine holiness Nityananda Parameshwar makes the signs directly an experience for the initiates. The experience is directly authenticated by the pramanas. The Shastra pramanas, the eternal, unchangeable truth revealed in the source scriptures, the Veda and Agamas. The Apta pramanas, the experience of the rishis, munis, ganas, nayanamars, alvars, and siddhars, who are the authority of Hinduism, who are who have scientists. who time tested and verified the science of our manifestation the atma pramanas are the avatar who land on the planet earth to give a super conscious breakthrough to humanity his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram this millennium's avatar personal experience of our manifestation shakshi pramanas are the experience of the millions of disciples devotees and followers initiated into the science of our manifestation by bhagwan himself pratyaksha pramanas or the scientific studies which can be measured measuring the effect of being in the enlightened state nityananda gnana padati for power of third eye seeing numbers through blindfold powerful cognition from bhagwan satsang living enlightenment series be very clear it is not supernatural it is naturally superb understand there is a big difference between supernatural the moment you see something is supernatural you lose the will power to you no 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 this is not for me these are all are not going to work for me maybe it will work for some balasans or maybe it will work for some sanyasis who have given their whole life for this not for me the word supernatural is like a board no entry the word naturally superb is like the board welcome understand definitions matter definitions matter matter don't think only experience matters definition does not matter but definitions matter for you to get inspired or perspired surely after experiencing definitions don't matter but till you experience definitions desire whether you are going to feel inspired or perspired definitions matter see the definition definition decides the way you are going to cognize the way you are going to be moving the way your will persistence is going to be placed listen if you feel it is possible your will persistence will make it possible 
if you feel it is not possible before even trying you will falsely believe you tried enough and you will give up understand this false notion you tried enough false notion you tried enough will make you give up before even you trying i have seen people before even they start their spiritual practice they will complain i don't have god's grace somebody goes to ramana maharishi and asks bhagwan i don't have god's grace his eyes are not falling on me bhagwan asked have your eyes fallen on him at least to find out whether your eyes eyes are falling on you or not have your eyes fallen on him at least to find out whether his eyes have fallen on you or not even before seeing we come to the conclusion i don't have god's grace i am rejected you are rejected by you not by god you are rejected by you not by life not by sadashiva sorry to use the word god correction english is a poor language to explain the nuances of cosmos definitions matter so have the right definitions about this whole science right introduction about this whole science first thing do not get overwhelmed second thing it is not supernatural it is naturally superb it is super but natural for you nothing difficult nothing impossible nothing there is nothing where you need to feel not for me not for me no it's for you i am talking to you and it is for you if you are hearing if this words reach your ears i am talking to you and it is for you so beautiful bhagwan gave a very powerful cognition and let's go to the shastra pramana The Shastra Pramana for the power of third eye awakening is taken from the Vijnana Bhairava Tantra Sutra 34 Dharana 11 Kapala antar manon yasya tishthan mili dalochana krame namana sodhadhyat lakshaye laksha muttamam कपालाोन्यलोचन क्रमे न मन सोदाढ़्यात्र सूत्र थर्टी फोर धारणा लेवन भगवान परमशिव सेस बाय फिक्सिंग द माइंड ऑन द इनर स्पेस विद इन द क्राउन सेंटर एंड सिटिंग स्टेबली विदाउट एनी मोमेंट हैविंग द आईज क्लोज इन सक्सेशन बाय दैट एबिलिटी ऑफ द माइंड इन इनर स्पेस वन डायरेक्टली सीज द अल्टीमेट गोल लक्ष्यम बाय हैविंग द विजन बियॉन्ड द साइट दैट रिवील्स एनी ऑब्जेक्ट और प्लेस अटेनिंग द स्पेस ऑफ वननेस विद द सोर्स परमशिव भगवान ब्यूटीफुली सेड हाउ ही experience the whole thing when he started looking in when the mind is turned into the inwards the more and more the reality will start happening 
in the from the space of oneness with Paramashiva, the more and more we turn to the outward, our logic kicks in and only the perception what we see becomes real for us. More and more we start searching who's the source, who is that who's experiencing the whole space and who's the that who's experiencing the power of third eye. When we start looking in and we start re getting revealed the whole signs, Bhagwan beautifully says we don't even try. Before we try, we give up. The self-doubt, self-denial and self-hatred kicks in even before we want to try something new. We justify so many things and we have so many reasons not to do and not to accept these higher order. That's why he said, it's not supernatural, it's naturally super. These are the very nature how people existed as divine beings. These are the very nature how we came to existence. And beautifully, Bhagwan said how Parashakti brought the third eye into the humanity to Kanchipuram and raised the humanity into the next level of consciousness. Bhagwan has come, Paramashiva has come in physical form as our Guru, raising all of us into the superconscious being who can experience this very way we exist. Jivan Mukti, enlightened way of life, was the way planet Earth is the landing space. Bhagwan beautifully says how when we are more and more aligned to our inner space than the outer world, which is continuously the dream, and understanding everything that is happening in the outer space is just a dream. And going towards inner and inner, the Paramashiva space in you opens up and reveals as any object or any place. And we understand everything is happening from within, not from outside to inside, but inside to outside. Attaining the space of oneness with Paramashiva is the main source where everything gets projected. Instead of correcting the screen, going towards the projector is what Bhagavan is explaining to us in the sutra. Let's go to the Apta Pramana. Apta Pramana, here we have the Apta Pramana for third eye seeing, seeing the numbers blindfold. The sun god Surya revealed uh, to the king Maya Ravana, father-in-law a very specific knowledge of the cosmos. This knowledge is known as Surya Siddhanta. Lord Surya revealed the, to King Maya the original root of trigonometry, standard notation, decimal system, gravity, highly advanced systems. So beautiful. Still making it the oldest astronomy book in the world. The Surya Siddhanta is an incredible testimony of the advanced thinking of ancient Indians. In this text, one can find the roots of trigonometry, as well as essential mathematical inventions, such as standard notation and the decimal system. In addition, the text described gravity for a millennium before Sir Isaac Newton developed his theory in 1687. Explain these side real revolutions and how planets move eastward. Accurately calculate the size and position of distant planets, the duration of a tropical year and the amount of the time that has passed since its creation. Finally, in this discussion about how time passes at different speeds in different circumstances, it contains the seeds of relativity. Some excerpts from Surya Siddhanta The average duration of the tropical year is 365.2421756 days, which is only 1.4 seconds shorter than the modern value of 365.2421904 days. The average duration of the sidereal year, the actual duration of the revolution of the Earth around the Sun, such as 365.256627 days, which is approximately the same modern value of 365.256-6305 days. This has been the most accurate estimate 
for the duration of the sidereal year anywhere in the world for over a thousand years. Not content to limit measurement to Earth, Surya Siddhanta also establishes the moment and the diameter of the planets. For example, the estimated diameter of Mercury is 3,008 miles, an error or less than 1% of the currently accepted diameter of 3,032 miles. It also estimates the diameter of Saturn as 73,882 miles, which again has an error of less than 1% of the standard notation of the currently accepted diameter of 74.580. In addition to inventing the decimal system, the zero of the standard notation, which gave ancient Indian the ability to calculate billions when the rest of the world struggled with 120, Surya Siddhanta also contains the root for trigonometry. Use sine jaya, cos sine khojya, or perpendicular sign and reverse sign Utkarm Jaya for the first time. The objects fall to the earth due to an attractive force of the earth. Therefore, the earth, the planets, the constellation, the moon and the sun remain in orbit due to this attraction. This was also discussed in Prasannopanishad. The Surya Siddhanta also goes into the detailed discussion about time cycle and that time flows differently in different circumstances. Uh, all chapters, Trigonometry, Surya Siddhanta, Chapter 3, verse 21 to 22, all have been explained so beautifully. More up the Pramanas, we have Ramanuja who says, the great, he's a great saint, he says that Namagiri goddess just comes and reveals in his dream. And he doesn't know anything other than Max different from God. So beautifully it is put in the chapter, The Man Who Knows Infinity, Chapter 5, The Goddess of Namakkal. And also the Vishwakarma architect of the God was the inventor of innumerable kinds of handicraft, makers of all kinds of ornament and famous sculptor. He was also the maker of all the of the God was the inventor of innumerable kinds of handicraft, makers of all kinds of ornament and famous sculptor. He was also the maker of all the aerial chariots for devatas. Vishwakarma used his third eye power to calculate the exact dimension of the buildings and handicraft and visualized them in his third eye. So beautiful, all these powers of third eye is beautifully revealed in our scriptures and the humans have experienced on planet earth and lived as gods and goddesses like bhagwan says it's naturally super now let's go to atma pramana where bhagwan narrates about his experience manifesting the powers of third eye 360 degrees vision the jivan mukti enlightenment experience itself it was a vaikasi month may or june no school at that time usually this may june no school so usually this summer time i'll go and sit in the temple or in the hill this time usually i'll go and sit in the that there is a place called coral hill in arunachalishra hill and the foothills evenings i'll go and sit there just sitting silently not big meditation and all it was just usually it will be just sitting only sometime i may feel from where the thoughts are raising. That is taught, as taught by Annamali Swami. I took that as initiation and I used to just see from where the thoughts are raising. So, it was on the Vaikasi Purnima day, evening. I was not even meditating. I was just sitting in a very relaxed way. Around after 4.30, sunset. Sunset and moon rise. You can see both in that place very beautifully. The moon rising and sun setting, both. In that beautiful mood, I don't know suddenly what happened. Something, I was sitting with open eyes. Something broke inside this Anandaganda area. Literally opened. And my eyes got closed by automatically. 
eyes got closed. Suddenly, I started seeing the whole 360 degree. Please understand, how you see this 120 degree, this whole 360 degree I saw. Not only that, I was able to feel that the whole 360 degree is me. Please understand, anything you see, you can feel it as you. See, how you feel you are alive inside your skin. I felt that same depth I am alive inside this all also. See, in your case, you are alive inside your skin 100%. You are alive 0% in this skin. In my case, I felt same 100% I am alive inside these things also. Like a plant, tree, stone, the front whatever is there, back whatever is there, the whole thing. It was such an ecstasy. I can say, pure, solid gold flowing in my through my spine, which was cool. Pure, solid gold being poured into my spine, it was cool. I don't know how long I was there in that same state. Then slowly when I was able to walk and come down, just near that Kupamal's house is there. I went and told her. She was doing something. She heard and said. I asked whether I am caught by some ghost. She said, no, no, you are caught by God. Go, go, don't worry. You are not possessed by ghost. You are already a ghost. Which ghost will possess you? If you don't go and catch some other ghost, that is good for the ghost. Go, go. You are only caught by God. She only said that I should not eat any food outside because my nervous system needs to settle down. She will cook and give every day. She will cook that, that uh, bitter neem leaf. She will boil and uh, grind that that stone and she will give one this much to be put in the mouth. It, it actually did a real good thing. Yeah. Otherwise, the, in that energy, the stomach will get burned. So fortunately, she was there around me to take care. I did not have any of that problems. This neem and all makes the whole thing cool and it takes care. That uh, unnecessary things does not get developed in your system. So she was taking care of me and she will uh, grind some of the syrups with whatever is required and all and put it on, even on my stomach and make me eat and she was taking care of that physical aspects. I came down and saw her. She said, you are caught only by God, don't worry. Don't eat here and there. Come back here to eat. Then I told, I'll go to the temple. She said, go. I went to the temple and I could see very clearly, even in the temple, all 360 degree I was able to see. I was walking, but I could see all 360 degree. That is where I caught my friend, classmate. And took him to the one corner and told him, see, I am able to see all 360 degree. And that uh, rock in Paula Kundri, if you go and sit, you will also have the same power. I went and asked Kupamal, she said, it's not a ghost, you go. It was very, in the uh, night almost, maybe 8 o'clock, because around 4.35 I had that experience, I would have had that experience, and I don't know how long I was lying, I was just sitting there, and it must have been at least 7 or 8. I am telling him, go now itself. He says, no, 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 now it is late, I will go tomorrow morning. I said, no, 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 go now. <laughs> Tomorrow morning you don't know whether that ghost would have gone. <laughs> and I don't know whether that power would have gone out. Go now. She's, he said, no, no, no. Then I, uh, then he said, eh, you are talking foolish things. How can you see all 360? I told him, if you want to check. First, I remember, he showed fingers behind my head. I told properly. Then he did not believe. Again, he picked up a coin and showed the head or tail. I told that also properly. 
Then he said, eh, maybe you are telling in fluke. Then I told very clearly the trees behind my head without turning the head. Let's go to the Shakshi Pramana. Shakshi Pramana are the millions of disciple devotees who are initiated by Bhagavan, whom demonstrate and share their experiences for the power of third eye. Yes. yes. She Unfortunately, she speaks English. The others in the ashram speak English also. Uh, but the accent But the accents... Mm, a little bit more thicker. 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 Yeah. That's okay. Mm. Even his accent is very thick. Because his mother tongue is... Uh, I'm scared of you. No one can have secrets from you, huh? That's right. That's right. I was thinking the same thing, like... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wow, yeah. What you got? That's actually um, <laughs> Listen to YouTube. one of his videos. I am yeah, totally you going to play it? Right play it. Okay. 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 I can show photos of me in this, actually. Oh, yeah, so you're here on the website? Yeah, I'm on this website. She's on the website. Yeah, here, yeah, she's still here. Yes, she's still here. Yeah. She's she just opened. And so wait a minute, how do you know to open that up like that to make it bigger and everything? She's going right to she's it and open it up. She's iPhone before, obviously. But even besides that, right, just the she's doing that with the blindfold on. <laughs> on. <laughs> but her dad has an iPhone. Yeah, but I'm saying she's doing that with the iPhone on. So you have to know specifically where that picture There's is located. Yeah. 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 To open it up bigger. Just a, what you call it, this child? That's you there? Yeah, this prodigy, prodigy child. So oh, she's a girl. Not, she, no, she's she got to be. And then she's got to be. Wait, the boat? He, no, he's a other children. children. He's showing, like, oh, but there are others, many more. So is that like that thing in the Matrix where you could bend the spoon? Is that that same no, type well, of... You can develop that, uh, uh, that faculty. Where do you want to see it? In Virginia? In Charlotte. North Carolina, Charlotte. Yeah. You know, Swamiji can bend the spoon, he can materialize shop. because it's all uh, energy. Let's go to the instruction and the power Pratyaksha Pramana scientific study for understanding the science behind the power manifestation and instruction for understanding how to manifest these powers. We will now begin the Pratyaksha Pramana scientific studies on the avatar. It is important to realize that Sri Nityananda Paramashivam is the only avatar who has agreed to be scientifically evaluated, both in terms of his own body as well as the changes he brings about in other beings. However, it is astonishing to know that his avataric attributes and powers are exactly as defined by the 5,000-year-old Hindu yogic sciences. After extensive observation and study, now it is being tested and proven by modern science also. So now, let us take a look at how the scientific studies present the measuring of effect of being in the enlightenment state through the very imaging brain activity of Bhagwan himself. Jagat Guru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam, whom we lovingly address as Swamiji. Swamiji himself has been subject to scientific studies since year 2004, and over the past decade, enormous amount of data about not only his altered states of neurophysiology, but that of his disciples as well has continued to be recorded. This impressive array of data will be presented systematically now as the Prataksha Pramana. Imaging brain activity. The result of Swamiji's PET scan tests were stunning. The dominant hemisphere of Swamiji's brain was more than 90% shut down. It was as if Swami's brain had packed up and gone on vacation. It was quiet and still, completely at peace, and Swami had made it so at will. The region, which is starting point of the Anya Chakra, or third eye, lower portion of its mesial frontal area, lighted up in a very significant way. When we later asked Swami what he was doing when the mesial frontal lobes lighted up, he said he was opening his third eye. Source taken from Avatar Shastra, Chapter 1, and Introduction, page 47. The third eye is considered to be by many seed of the soul. Were we seeing an indication that deep meditation can open an area of the brain responsible for communicating with the divine? Looking deep into the mysteries of self or creation? 
the PET scan revealed what Dr. Murali calls the brain's D-spot, standing for delight, the divine, or even dopamine, the chemical through which our bodies experience pleasure. Initial indication are that meditation can stimulate it. Dr. R. Murli Krishna, President COO, Integris Mental Health, James Selhall Jr., Center for Mind, Body and Spirit, Oklahoma in US, and his team invited Nityananda to derive scientific evidences for meditation and the state of his enlightenment. Usually the brain is so active, there are 100 billion brain cells there. But what meditation does is something very interesting. It shows the frontal lobes getting more active. The frontal lobe is where you have judgment, wisdom, reasoning. Here are some of the uh, brain scans I'm going to show, share with you. This is alert, non-meditative state. The second one is 30 minutes into 30 minutes of meditation. Look at the frontal lobes, how they light it up. They light it up big time. 60 minutes of deep meditation, and here is it deep, deep level of meditation where it lights up significantly right here, right in the middle, probably an inch and a half, two inches deeper. From time immemorial, it is believed that great masters are always in the state of bliss or causeless happiness. They are unconditionally happy. With modern sophisticated equipments, we are able to detect this truth. The dopamine secretion is always abundant in the case of Paramahamsa Nityananda. The D really stands for divine spot. The D also stands for delight and the dopamine smile. What's also interesting is that you know he could at will go in and out of the stage. So we asked Swamiji when he came from the scanning room, when we saw this one, we asked Swamiji, what were you exactly doing when so and sort of thing happened? He didn't know what, what was there. He did not see the pictures yet. He said, really interestingly, but there were three people there, and he said, I opened my third eye. <laughs> and that's stunning because I learned about third eye as a child, but didn't read about it for a long time, what it is. But what he said was, you know, it's, I, I asked him to describe more in detail what does he mean by third eye. And he said, you know, it's a deep meditative state. It's probably a very, very deep state. But he said, you know, it looks like a, a small petal on one side going and join. Another side, another petal comes and join and you join together and then it becomes the third eye. Like a blissful state that you experience when you open third eye. So that's really a very, very interesting and fascinating finding. And we're going to talk about it for a long time. This is funny. The title of this paper does not mean that it is possible to close one's eyes and read a newspaper but it means that a sentence can be read with the eyes closed when that sentence is properly presented to the eyes. It also means that a picture can be seen with closed eyes when a properly prepared picture is presented to the eyes. This is accomplished by making use of the x-rays to stimulate the retina. Everyone can have this retina stimulated by x-rays and see the light. Over 100 observers have been tested and everyone has been able to read letters with closed eyes. The method is extremely simple. The first essential is that the observer must remain in total darkness for 10 minutes. By the time he's able to see light when x-rays strike his retina, he may not be able after 10 minutes to see letters, but he will after 15 minutes in the dark. After 20 minutes, he can see and read the letters and see pictures. Source from Reading with Eye Closed, National Center for Biotechnology. Setting up the items for manifesting the power of third eye, recognizing the numbers in the page. Camera and time stamp to be set up, Nyananjan, third eye band, books, pencils and papers. Let us set the camera up. Take a few moments to set the camera, download the timestamp app, click on the video, ensure the time is shown on the screen vividly and clearly. 
make sure it's a wide angle and the camera is facing you. It's a bright lit place and the eye band uh, is clearly seen on the camera. The pad where they're writing the numbers is very see clearly seen. If there is a partner, please make sure the partner is also seen on the camera very clearly. And there is no Bluetooth or any other devices next to the person. Please make sure the these are recorded. These are wonderful moment. Guidelines for recording. Turn on the video camera. Apply the Nyananjan on third eye. Bring your awareness to your third eye. Wa the eye pan in such a way that no light enters into your eye. Have a book, a paper, and pen down the numbers of, from the page. If you have a partner, ask them to show the book. And they can give the book to your hand and you can place it in the directions that you would like to see through the eye band. And whatever numbers you see, please go ahead and write it down. Do not judge whatever third eye shows, it's perfect. Just keep writing it down. Simply you'll see the way of manifesting the powers. When done, open the eye band and verify the pages for numbers, if matches exactly, you are manifesting the powers. If you're feeling some Kundalini energy and just got like part of the numbers correct, excellent. You started manifesting, celebrate the whole thing. You will start manifesting more from your depth. Verify the video is authentic. Share your videos with powerful cognition with others and listen to others' powerful cognition and experience for manifesting this power. Power manifestation. Instructions. Let's sit straight, the head, neck, and back in a straight line so that beautifully the Kundalini energy raises to the Agnya where the manifestation happens. Usually, we are, our, our um, awareness is on Muladhara, Swadhishtana, and Manipuraha, where navel center, your below navel center. Here, bringing the awareness to your third eye. And sitting straight will give us amazing possibility of power manifestation. Now let's understand few words that Bhagavan is repeatedly using. Shakti Pada, oneness, be unclutched, initiation. So here first we will see in Bhagavan's words what is Shakti Pada. Let me give an introduction about what is Shakti Pada process. Please understand. You would have seen or heard about how the chicken sits on the egg and hatches. Of course, in the modern countries, this does not happen. Machine sits on the egg and <laughs> our egg sits on the machine. In those days, originally when <laughs> hens and chicken were getting produced on the planet Earth, the hen used to sit on the chicken and hen used to sit on the egg and the <laughs> chicken will come out of the egg. See, same way, Sadashiva sitting means the ultimate cosmic energy sitting on the individual soul and making the individual soul into cosmic energy is Shakti Pada. Hence sitting on the egg and making the chicken happen same way. You may think, how come, what is going on here? That hen is only sitting just by the body heat of the hen and the egg is becoming chicken. Because no surgery is done and nothing goes inside. It's only sitting. Same way. It is just sitting. It's only the presence. The Shakti Pada. Makes the individual soul into cosmic soul. <laughs> Beautifully, Bhagavan explained Shakti Pada, how individual soul becomes cosmic soul. And let's listen to initiation. Initiation. 
You see, let me explain the initiation. Initiation is the process beyond your intellectual understanding. The transmission of lamp happens. Now, you understood something intellectually. There is something which is not understood, which can't be transmitted through the words. That is transmitted. That's what we call initiation. Sometime I tell you know, people that unless you are initiated, the techniques do not create the result. The reason is you do not grasp completely whatever is expressed through words. Initiation is like a, it just transmits whatever need to be transmitted beyond logic and beyond words. People ask me, why to wear this bracelet or this mala and all those things? This all will remind you. Why bracelet in the hand? It will remind you before eating, did you meditate? It's a constant reminder. Before eating, let you be reminded, did you do the meditation? That is why this bracelet. That is why this mala. That is why this external things. Sometimes, this external things does a big job of reminding you constantly. That is why Take the help of external things also, nothing wrong. People ask me, why we can uh, just be spiritual without having external things? If you can, really you are welcome. But I don't think anybody who speaks in that way is successful. I've never seen people becoming successful, avoiding the external things, just having internal things. And it is just a nice way of escaping from yourself. <laughs>
are in the mental level, are in the being level. In every level, when you understand the truth, by your very nature, you are unclutched. The tremendous quantum transformation. You take a quantum jump, the transformation happens in quantum, not step by step. Just on jump, you take a quantum jump and experience the truth awakening in you. The oneness space is the most beautiful space that Bhagwan himself is explaining how we are ferocious beyond the tiredness and boredom we can experience the space of oneness and be unclutched oneness is not imagination oneness is not visualization oneness is not even just declaration it is your existence and an idea which is you is oneness the idea which has become part of your very space which does not tire you or bore you by the passage of the time is oneness Mahadeva says in the Agama, Sadashiva beautifully explains in the Agama, Kala, Yama cannot tire you or bring boredom to you if something becomes your space. Devi achieved the blissful state and union with Mahadeva on Shivaratri day because her space became oneness. Anything which brings tiredness or boredom has not yet become your space. If living in this body brings you tiredness and boredom, you are not going to be living in this body forever. When that becomes too much, you are going to drop it and move ahead. If you want to be in oneness forever, it should become part of your space means you should become ferocious with you and break this very tiredness and boredom. Only when you deal you with the ferociousness, you break the tiredness and boredom. With that ferociousness, you need to make oneness as your space. Anything stands as an imagination in the length level, visualization in the breadth level, declaration in the depth level. If you open your time with ferociousness, it just sinks into space level. With this ferociousness, the time layer in you opens and the oneness from imagination to visualization to declaration, it becomes your space. The way of existence. The most important, Bhagavan says, being unclutched, understanding the Shakti Pada, the oneness space, and chanting the Mahavakya. The Mahavakya, the power of the Mahavakya pushes you into the higher states of consciousness. Here Bhagwan himself explains how we can experience the Shaktipada raised higher consciousness through Mahavakya. It's one of the very important revelation by Sadashiva. All the electronic equipments work when the electrons are made to vibrate. The that happens by the light. When the electricity is supplied, the light particle vibrates, the electronic equipment starts working. Just like that, 
the spiritual power and the umbilical cord connection, spiritual umbilical cord connection between you and me, it works with sound particle. For example, my integrity with the cosmos, Sadashiva, Maha Sadashiva, it reverberates in certain level of frequency. When you are integrated to me, you also start reverberating in the same frequency. If your integrity goes down, that is when you start connecting with me only as a manager or this organization head or your Purvashram father, mother. Your connection with me goes down to the lower level if the integrity gets reduced. I was wondering what is the way we can bring people to the higher integrity immediately and the feeling connection so they start manifesting the powers they start staying in the space of Sadashivatva Sadashiva revealed a beautiful sound I can tell you this is like a password at any point if you are not able to bring yourself to oneness you are a little shaken, disturbed, or for some reason, you are not able to bring yourself to oneness. This is like a password. You type, whether your mind feels connected or not, the energy will start flowing in you beyond the depth dimension. You see, all mind oscillation, restlessness, all mental idea-based feeling connected or not feeling connected is only length, breadth, depth level. Not in the space level. But this sound will straight infuse energy from the space level. Like for example, if the power goes off, automatically the generator will get switched on and the power supply will be going on. So end result will not be lost. Whether government power supply or the generator power supply, end result will not be stopped. So whenever you feel little that oneness is, you are not catching it, just feed this password. Immediately the oneness will open up and you will start manifesting the powers, energy and the whole space will shift. It is directly from Sadashiva. It's a beautiful sound. I don't even want to say it's a mantra. It is not even a mantra because there is no meaning in it. You can't derive a meaning for it. It just flashed like a password for all the initiations I am giving. One single password for all the initiations I am giving. And the initiations I gave, I am giving, I will be giving for all that. This is like one password. Don't even repeat like a mantra. Just feed like a password and it will just open up. Your whole being will open up. Listen carefully. It starts with the vibration O. Listen and then repeat. O. Very deep. O. Nityananda. Nityananda. Maha. So Bhagwan gave beautiful explanation of how you can be in Shaktipada. Visualize Paramashiva who has come down as Bhagwan Nityananda Paramashivam from Kailasha. Remembering Paramashiva in your third eye again and again, bringing your awareness to your third eye simply makes you manifest powers. Absolute unclutching. How Bhagwan said. The neutral zone, nothing ever touches the screen. Like same way, the movie does not touch the screen, whether it is happening in ferocious or any soft, beautiful, nothing touches the screen. Be unclutched like the screen. And to experience the state of Paramashiva, your inner space being completely unclutched. 
complete completion to experience the space of Paramashiva. Inside us, the complete completion happens when we are in tune with Paramashiva, that everything is redundant and irrelevant. The essence of completion is irrelevant. Nothing matters in your life because everything is complete completion. Oneness with Paramashiva, how Bhagavan said in ferocious breaking the boredom and tiredness, just being in the space of oneness with Paramashiva to manifest the powers of Paramashiva. Tyaga as Paramashiva is your only strength, now declaring complete integrity with Bhagavan to experience the being of Paramashiva. How Bhagavan said, chanting the Mahavakya raises your frequency and that is your only strength to manifest any reality. Being in this beautiful space of Paramashiva, you can experience such a beautiful space, state, powers and becoming the being of Paramashiva, manifesting whatever you want. Now, you will be manifesting the powers, watching the oneness capsule and chanting the Mahavakya, Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. We will be playing the Mahavakya and the oneness capsule for you to manifest powers. At end of the Mahavakya, you can start with the verification and sharing and causing. Thank you. Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour, let the Varni open up, manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third Om 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 Om
Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour. Let the Varni open up. Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour. Let the Varni open up. Manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third eyes. Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour. Let the Varni open up. Manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third Paramashiva, 
Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour, let the Varni open up, manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third eyes. Om Jnanam Paramashivam Om Jnanam Paramashivam Om Jnanam Paramashivam Om Jnanam Paramashivam Yanam <laughs> Verification process. Verification for the third eye reading of numbers. Verify no video editing is done on the Shakti Avishkarna videos. Verify there is video is not stopped or restarted. All videos are verified with the timestamp. No peeking through the holes around the eye band. If not, if not fine, please fix in such a way that no light enters into the eye. No seeing the pages before putting the eye band. It should be completely a strange book or new book or somebody showing a new thing after you place the eye band. No Bluetooth or gadgets during the manifestation. Please check there is nothing in your ears. There is no Bluetooth and nobody is giving you clues or hints while manifestation. If professional sleep eye bands is, are used, that would be really good so that no light is passing through your eyes. And if not, uh, have some cotton in both the eyes nicely placed and then apply the eye band. Authentically write down the numbers that appear on the page through the third eye and exactly that number should match. Do not interpret the result for confirmation. Thank you for manifesting these powers of third eye. Beautiful. We are at the end of the power manifestation, but most important part of the power manifestation. Here, we are going to share all that you have manifested with the social media groups. Here, we have Sri Kalasha Kotiyar manifesting power groups. Thousands of people are part of that. And you can share there and you can post your powerful cognition and the videos. The link is tinyurl.com slash power manifestation. It is at the left corner of the page. You can click on it and you can post your beautiful experience in the power manifestation group. Why sharing and causing is very important part of power manifestation. Bhagwan beautifully exp explains 
that sharing is pulling us out of delusion and causing is liberating us. We are the ones who need to start experiencing the higher states of reality, how we need to exist. Beautifully, Bhagwan explains, when you are sharing with others the ultimate, beautiful, multidimensional logic, your brain rewires into the higher space of consciousness, the Turiyatita state. Again and again, when you experience even a little bit, you share with the world, your experience becomes reality. Same thing when you cause others to come and get initiated for higher reality, you are caused into the higher purpose, the ultimate reality. Bhagwan says extreme causing, extreme power manifestation is extreme causing. So beautifully he explains how we, our strength is declared on Paramashiva. The power manifestation happens exactly in tune to that. And sharing with the world, continuously reiterating ourselves, the experience that we had from the powerful cognition and manifesting the space of Paramashiva, the state of Paramashiva, the beings of Paramashiva, we become Paramashiva. Go on sharing and causing, which is the most important part of how you have experience your reality. When you go to a temple, we pray and we see that beautiful experience happen in us and then share with the world that how amazing the temple experience has manifested as your reality. Same way when you manifest powers, when you share with the world, it becomes more and more the depth cognition of you and you will be experiencing more powers. Even if you're manifested very small, it does not matter the quantity, Bhagwan says, the quality is important. If it is authentic, please go ahead and share with the world. Do not doubt, have self-doubt, self-denial, self-hatred, come and block anything. Experience the ultimate in deep seeking and gratitude. Bhagwan manifest in you with a deep prayer that asking Bhagwan to make this reality as your existential reality. With that, let's end with the Purna Mantra. Thanking Bhagwan for all these great experience. We have come to the end of the Power Manifestation course and we end with the Purna Mantra. Om Purna Madha Purna Midam Purna Purna Madashyate Purnasya Purna Mataya Purna Meva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Om Tat Sat Sarvam Bhagavate Sri Nityanda Parmashim Padukar Panamastu Om Nityanandam Thank you for participating in the Jnana Patati, Nityananda Jnana Patati course. Please go ahead and select more power manifestation and every day experience the ultimate reality for yourself. Nityananda. Om Nityananda Paramashivuham